Okay, uh, my name is uh, it's Kenton, Kenton Cool, C O O L, and that is my real name, parents, parents sense of humour. Uh, and essentially, uh, I'm a professional mountaineer. I seek out some of the hardest challenges climbing wise uh, in the world and then sort of sneak off and, and go and do them. And I suppose my day job would be I'm a, I'm a professional mountain guide, so uh, I look after people in the mountains. So between the two of them, I spend most of my days up big snowy mountains, which is pretty cool. So can you, uh, can you tell us a bit about what you're doing here today? Yeah, no, so um, I engage with, with uh, Rob Bennett. Uh, I'd just come back from Everest uh, back in the summer and we were supporting the Walking with the Wounded uh, at a big charity ball when I read, uh, met Rob Bennett. And uh, we, we, we sort of struck a, a conversation. He, he invited me in to um, come and meet Edward, the CEO. And, uh, but I personally found Edward a really inspiring, charismatic guy. And uh, we, we kind of decided that it would be good if I could come in and meet the squad and talk to the squad just a little bit about what I do in the mountains. Because I think there's some great parallels between what I do in the big mountains and, and, and what, what the team do here. Um, obviously, I'm quite a small guy and they're quite big, so there's no parallel there. But uh, the decision making, um, sort of success and, and also failure in the big mountains, you know, how you deal with that, uh, how you move on from, from upsets, uh, and about you know, digging deep. Uh, there's been moments in my climbing career where you know, depths of despair, and you've got to claw your way back from that, and I'm sure the, the guys have. So it's, it's, been a, it's been a sensational morning, actually. It's been really, I think probably as inspirational for me seeing these guys here, I mean, it's all, you know, the whole squad's there. It's, it's been great, it's been really good. And what was their reaction? What, did you speak to many of the guys? Did they come? Up? Yeah, a, a lot of guys came up to me afterwards, um, which is always great. Uh, showing real interest in what I was talking about. Some, some pretty, uh, pretty full-on handshakes. Uh, well, my hand is still here. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But uh, the, the reaction seemed really good. Really, really good. I mean, obviously, Saracens are uh, going to bounce back on Sunday after a couple of uh, a couple of little hiccups. Uh, and you know, one of the things that I was talking about was, was bouncing back from a personal hiccup of mine uh, on Everest this year. So I think there's some great chords there, and you know, p- people coming up with some really good, interesting questions as well. So I think the reaction was, well, I think it's pretty good. I'm going to go out on, on the field and ask, ask the boys, see what they say. And are you going to the game? Are you going to the game on Yeah, I'm going to come on Sunday. Oh, brilliant. So uh, yeah, I'll be at the stadium on Sunday. Really looking forward to it. Uh, so I've not been to a match there before. I'm going to go down to Basel, Gloucester. <laughs> Uh, if I'm allowed to say, say that, uh, so that's cl- closer to home. But yeah, we, we come across, at, you know, the whole family's coming across, so my three-year-old's coming. She's never been to a game before. And um, yeah, my, my one, one-year-old son will be there as well, and my wife. So really looking forward to it, actually. So we hope that the, uh, the guys are back to the winning ways.